always alluding, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, next weather meteorologist Jennifer Correa joins us now with a look at the radar and uh, is it quieter than it was this morning? It is. Uh, the showers are now dwindling down to just a sun shower here and there. That's about it. We're going to zoom into Miami Dade. There was a shower earlier. You saw it there zooming by uh, over areas of Coral Way Village, uh, Westchester, and then it just dissipated near Kendall Lakes. So we don't have to deal with any rain at the moment across uh, Miami-Dade or even in Broward. There was a little drizzle that went through Wilton Manors and Oakland Park. It looks like a little drizzle right over the county line between Broward and Dade. And then the Keys also seeing drier conditions on the radar. So we're heading into the, now uh, a drier part of the day. Most of the showers, even the past few days, have been coming in during the overnight and the morning because of that persistent on shore flow. Let's talk about temperatures. So at one o'clock this afternoon, it's going to be about 89 degrees. We'll hit that high right at 90, which is near normal. But what's not normal are these feels like temperatures because once again, they'll be hitting the triple digits. However, today topping out just at 100 degrees uh, compared to what's expected later on midweek because of drier weather, we're expecting much hotter heat indices and we'll take a look at that in a second. Now, the next Next 48 hours when it comes to rain, we'll be seeing a few showers develop again late tonight around 10 to 11 p.m. and midnight. Then they'll quickly zoom by and tomorrow morning we'll have again a few showers passing by along an east to southeast wind. Then later tomorrow afternoon around 3 o'clock, there's the potential for some spotty showers and storms off the coast, but those could dissipate rather quickly because starting late tomorrow, Saharan dust comes our way and by Wednesday, it looks pretty dry on the radar. So here's that Saharan dust is a huge plume moving into the Bahamas today and then tomorrow starts to creep into our atmosphere later in the day, Wednesday, Thursday. Look how it looks out there. Very pronounced, very hazy sunshine for us with feels like temperatures above 100 degrees. Let's talk about the tropics there's that tropical wave that has the potential of development at least into a tropical depression later on in the week. Right now located south of the Cabo Verde Islands most likely is going to wrap around that Bermuda high. Could be an impact for Bermuda. Something we'll have to watch for our friends there, but so far not a threat to us here in South Florida. And that's good news. Rain chance 30% today, 40% tomorrow, down to 10% on Wednesday. Even Thursday is going to stay dry and hazy. Then the storms return in the afternoons starting on Friday.